beautiful Aquarians, it's Rena Wells here, and I'm here to do your reading for December 1st to the 15th. I know I'm a little late, guys. Um, I got super booked last week, and then I had to upload for my subscribers for the membership that they pay for, and so between that, YouTube tends to get a little bit <laughs> uh, behind. So I am here, though, and I am getting the rest up as soon as I can, so please bear with me. We're going to be doing the interconnection spread for Aquarians. Thank you, Spirit. Please bring down the container spread for my beautiful Aquarians. Let's take a look at the energy between you and your counterpart. All right, guys. What's going on for Aquarians, please? This is for Aquarians, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with my Aquarians? For my YouTubers, let this message expand and go out. For Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Please, for December 1st to the 15th. Let's take a look. All right, guys, I'm only taking upright. So the first card on the bottom is the Knight of Swords. So I'm feeling there's uh, some rushed information that has recently come through. We also have the Four of Cups on the bottom. We also have the Nine of Wands and we have the Chariot. So what I'm getting here is we've got some rushed information that's kind of made you pull back here, made you bring out a lot of triggers, bring out that brought a lot of wounded energy, Aquarian, okay, Aquarius, and that you've had to somewhat move moved on um and you've had and it's had to push either you and the other person forward but there's you know it was a type of um kind of abrupt communication the night of the knight of swords when the knight shows up it's kind of like a rushed energy just like a okay i just gotta blurt it out and get this out and it's caused a lot of apathy it's caused a lot of things that you know i'm sitting here now in my pain and i don't <laughs> um know what is going on with that so let's um pick the top four i'm gonna actually put the camera down so you guys can see it a little better going to take the top four and we're going to shuffle all right what is going on for my beautiful Aquarians please spirit what is going on with my beautiful Aquarians what is going on thank you so I'm going to be rising for December 1st to the 15th let's take a look okay I'll hold it up to the camera so you guys can see that a little better So we read from the energies inside to out, okay? And this is what's happening. So we have the Divine Feminine here right in the center of the read with the Five of Swords. There has been some conflict. That's what's been happening here. We've got the Divine Masculine here that's really sitting at her feet. So I feel like... Um, it could have been the Divine Masculine that's come in with some abrupt communication that caused a lot of conflict for Divine Feminine here in regards to uh healing now that has to happen divine masculine is sitting here connected but um this conflict and this communication was because of uh this is the six of pentacles so a reciprocity of energy was not felt okay there was no balance of energy that was being felt and um definitely yeah definitely there was some issues here with this you know the divine masculine needing to know more in his own path that's why there was this this communication that was that brought a lot of apathy here right that brought the four of pentacles and the you know um the nine of wands very victim type of mentality i feel like this masculine doesn't feel good enough okay and had to move forward and so it caused a lot of conflict here okay so let's take a look let's go a little deeper let's clarify the conflict here for divine feminine with the um with the five of swords sorry guys i like to sit cross-legged <laughs> it's just like a natural pose for me so let's clarify here the 
Empress with the five of, yeah, see, wanting victory and success out of this. I feel like Divine Feminine was really trying to work on things. We have the King of Wands. Okay, wanting victory and success, but there was a lot of conflict. And so Divine Feminine has to move towards um, healing this. Clarify this page of swords at the top here with Divine Masculine. Yeah. Passionate. Wants to take passionate action and discover more in this connection and wants to come in for a renewal. Um, but was brought with, with this communication. We'll clarify this. Could be that this person wanted a renewal with somebody else or wants a renewal with you. But the way that I'm seeing is like, I feel like there was some heated discussion. Okay, we have the page of, yeah, I think there was some illumination. I feel like this masculine went elsewhere, okay? Um, and wanted, had some illumination in regards to uh, some fiery communication um, and actioned this, um, Mm -hmm. Okay. Spirit's bringing through two scenarios. So this is one scenario. There was some fiery communication that brought a lot of illumination to the connection. Okay. And spirit was like, um, this happened and they wanted to be with somebody else. They moved on to somebody else. Now, the other scenario is that there was some abrupt communication from this masculine and since then has gained some illumination and wants to passionately come back and communicate for a renewal. Okay. So those are the two situations. We also have the tower on the bottom, okay? So there's definitely some um, things that have fallen apart, foundations that have fallen apart. Let's clarify a little deeper in regards to what was this illumination here, the sun. Okay. Really about what their stability and who they want to work with and who they want to collaborate with. We've got the Ten of Pentacles with the three of pentacles. So some stable energy here that something has come about in regards to their life and their stability. And they're really actioning a change in direction right now is what I'm getting. So this could go both ways. The person who's watching could have been that they left you for somebody else. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, that they need to go into this direction. Okay, and if not, um, they left because they needed to figure out family issues. They need to figure out how they were going to work on themselves before that they can come back. Let's clarify the star here for the emperor. Clarify the star with the emperor. Yeah, we've got the high priestess with the hermit. So there were things that were hidden that they need to heal. Okay, there were things that were being hidden that they had to heal and go within to discover more about themselves. Let's clarify the star with the conflict for the Divine Feminine because there was conflict now in regards to healing for a Divine Feminine. Yeah, see, there's things hidden that she wasn't aware of that's created a lot of sadness and ended the illusion. Spirit wants me to take the Seven of Cups in reverse. And there was clarity that was brought here. And so sometimes, guys, the way that I read, I just take reversals when Spirit tells me to. They're saying that this is in between. They came out just like that. You saw me shuffle. That's how it came out. So, um it brought clarity. This disruption brought some type of clarity and spirit wants you to heal through that divine feminine right now. Okay. So there's divine feminine is in really a healing process and divine masculine is really looking at where stability is. How is this going to work? How they're going to work in their life. Okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to come back because we're going to do that in the extended. Okay. I, I take a look a deeper into the relationship and how um, well, I just have the Queen of Wands that came up. So there's somebody else that could be involved here. Okay, it could be a third party situation for some. We've got the Ten of Wands on the bottom. Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, I'm feeling that it could be definitely a third party situation. If not some karmic situation that they have to settle that's very connected to family right now. Okay, um, let's clarify this um, page of swords with the Six of Pentacles. There was some type of you know, wanting to know more information, having to dig deeper that was communicated that caused this disruption. Um, let's see what's going on with the page with the Six of Swords. Oh, they feel sticky now. So the only one came out is about juggling. We have the, you know, juggling thing. So I feel like this person was trying to find some kind of balance and was really juggling things and not sure how to move forward here. Yeah, had to make a decision about happiness. And this is Nine of Cups. This is a very materialistic type of um, connection, okay? It's not 
Um, they're looking for their house. They're looking for their home. They're looking for the romance. You know, it's not a spiritual connection. And so when people say like spiritual, like you have, like just because you have past lives with somebody and just because you have that type of interaction with somebody doesn't mean that they are like a twin flame or somebody that you're meant to be with. It could be very much karmic cycles that need to play out. And so when I see the nine of cups with the justice, I really feel like this is something, um, very karmic, very material base. It's not, it's, it's, um, you don't have that 10th cup, which is the spiritual cup, which is the connection to spirit, which is the full emotional fulfillment. So there was a decision that was made abruptly because of that. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's see what's going on with divine feminine here in regards to her balance here. She, I mean, she wants victory and success out of the situation with, with the masculine. That was the conflict, but let's see about the six of pentacles. Yeah, trying to gain um, clarity and really, Spirit is saying to stand in your own masculine energy right now, to gain your own clarity, okay, and to speak your sort of truth, yes, through past issues with this person and through your own heartbreak, okay, and gain your balance within, yeah, yeah. Is there any other final messages here, Spirit? So this has been a very difficult situation. It's a healing process that's happening here. Any other messages for Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine? Yeah, look at this. We have the Two of Cups. Wow, 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 wow. These are the final messages here from Divine Masculine. So we have the world. So things were, the responsibility, we have the world, okay? So I'm going to show them how they have got the world. We have the Ten of Wands came out, which we saw earlier. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups, and we have the Two of Cups. So I feel like this person walked. This is scenario one. We have the Queen of Wands that was over here, remember? So this is definitely like I feel third party situation or karmic, whatever the scenario is. Anyways, what we've got here is somebody has found it very difficult to end and start new cycles, okay? And wants a reunion in a relationship, okay? So scenario one is they've left the person that's watching this so that they can move towards this and take the responsibility um, to move forward, to move into a, a reunion with somebody else in a two of cups. And if that's not the case, if they're not moving towards somebody else, um, okay. Thank you. Spirit is saying some have moved, had to move that this could be a divine compliment for you, but they, and only, you know, that, but they had to move to gain more lessons with somebody else. And the other scenario, the last scenario, because now they're giving me three is that this person, um, came forward and want and you are the divine compliment you are this is a very uh sacred connection but what's happened is they have to move to learn lessons before they can come back and they want to come back and take responsibility and and to have a re reunion with you and friendship with you and to know this two of cups but it's going to take time because they're still in this victim mentality and still needs a lot of healing this is the wounded healer okay so that's what's happening okay um I'm not sure how I did the other readings, but I'm going to just pull some Moonology cards for you guys. And then in the extension, I'm going to go and do um, how the masculine, how this person feels towards you and how the feminine feels towards the masculine, uh, the situation, the actions, and the outcome of what's going to be happening. Okay, so let's clarify here for this for Aquarius and Lumores. We have a healing message, one for Divine Feminine and one for Divine Masculine, please. December 1st to the 15th. Okay, we've got two here. So the first one that's come out is a time to give rather than take. And I feel that's Divine Masculine, okay? knowing that they have to come into a giving energy. And if they weren't able to give to Divine Feminine right now, they have to learn how to do that. And it's too hard to do it in a sacred connection, okay? It could also be that someone ha some have left this situation to move into a sacred connection, okay? And that they need to give to that situation. And for whoever is watching, it's about meditating and contemplating right now and to find deeper into your truth because it's a healing um, energy. And it's mostly Divine Feminines that watch this on my channel. So it's mostly women. So um, for that, it's like healing. And if you're owning the Divine Feminine inside of you, it's about healing and meditating and connecting to something bigger than yourself. 
All right, Aquarians, so much love to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please comment below and we will see you soon. Bye.